Okay, now we're going to make some divots and some voids and some little ridges. So we're going to take this sharp knife and I'm going to cut in at an angle like this. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular, but I like to kind of cut it in and you're, you're making almost like a V groove in it. And the rougher the better, honestly. It doesn't have to be a thing of beauty. And you just want to keep going until it kind of naturally pops out. And you're left with two, two benefits with this. So there's that. And just like that, you've created a void and a mountain ridge. So we're going to do it again. And again, all of this gets cleaned up. All of this starts to take shape very quickly. And honestly, the rougher, the better. The rougher, the better, because that's where you get the texture. So as you can see, you're starting to get mountains and hills and ridges and things. And you can just put these randomly wherever you want. It doesn't have to be any rhyme or reason to it, wherever you want them. Just remember to put your knife in at an angle so that way you kind of get that V notch. And what you get in a second here is that that sort of landscape. So now you've got your craters. Now you can put your mountains in wherever you want. Sometimes I like to overlap them a little bit. Maybe a little bit wherever you want to put them, you know, just kind of figure out where it works for you, where, where best for you. But that's how you do that. Then you glue this all down and we'll see you in the next step.